Do you see, want to see like more of my, my skin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little chest hair. <laughs> I was rolling on that. Oh, man. Uh. That's the intro, right? <laughs> uh, my name is Jacob Blank, and my film's name is Harmony of Silence. I changed it from something else, but then I decided on the new name. Just sounded a little better. Uh, my film was about a nightmare situation. Uh, I kind of wanted to put a, a dad in like an uncomfortable spot and see what happens. Is that the babysitter? Stop! Stop the car! Hey! Uh, so the whole, the whole shoot kind of takes place at night. So we try to. Um, figure out how to how to not make it too dark. So we, we really played around with like um, like practical lights inside of the car and inside of uh, just trying to light it in like very practical ways. Um, so a lot of the first shots that we did were just purely um, like high beams on, on a car. Um, car lights lighting up the characters and then playing off that um, like the, the beams of light backlighting the character at first, giving some shadows on, on the back, and then um, the character kind of walks from the car to the house, and inside of the house, um, we wanted to like not make it too light, so it was still kind of like like moonlight kind of seeming, and so we put a bunch of um, par cans, like 1Ks outside of the windows and put some gels on them and the, the blue tint was kind of like a little bit surreal mo moonlight feel to it, so, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, no moving. And cut. Perfect. If you can't make it pretty, just make it look ugly. That's like kind of how I, how I do things. So even after I sent off the film to my, my friend who colored it, I put like a layer of 16 millimeter film convert with like highest grain there is. I <laughs> just like, so, so when, you, when you see the film, it's like super destroyed in a way, like not clear at all. <laughs> um, but it, it gives you like this organic feeling to it that is just, I kind of wanted to embrace the phone and make it almost make it a different kind of look like you wouldn't be able to get on any other camera. Yeah, dude, uh, I was super stoked on um, the cage, the beast grip cage that was probably like uh, something I was very impressed by just uh, the amount of um, the points that you can screw things to and so there's this there's like two parts no actually three we used uh, we did yeah, these three kind of static shots that were mocking the motion of, of things like a door opening or an axe uh, holding and uh, we just had like a clamp attached to the to the, to the cage and just use the use the cage as like a like a mount and worked perfectly. It was it was super fun to use. I, I actually love the uh, the the notebook thing that I got. Do you, what is do you know the thing? Uh, this from the yeah. I use like I use the notebook holder for for like my script and everything. So I really enjoy that. I actually have a bunch of BTS That's so of that. Cool. So <laughs> yeah. My favorite shot. Actually, I think it's the one in the, there's the shot in the kitchen. Um, we were running out of batteries on our lights and we were kind of like coming up close to finishing up the shoot. And we just put like an iPhone flashlight under a cupboard in the kitchen and it was just lighting everything kind of, uh, backlighting boiling water kind of coming up. And then we just like put the, put the phone on the counter, <laughs> on the, the counter surface, and we just like slid it with a fisheye, and and it just like there's some awesome light coming from like the the back door, and there was the boiling water coming up, just a lot of depth in the. I, I just enjoyed that shot a lot. Yeah. I love that. That was perfect. You like it? Yeah. Happy. This looks great. Cool. Yeah, I feel like the biggest thing for me is just 
I, I, I just put out everything I make, even if it's not something that I'm like... I try to be proud of most of the things I do, but even if it's not something I'm like, this is the best thing I've ever done, I'll, I'll still put it out. And um, I think you just like, I treat it as stepping stones. So, so even this film, I've learned a lot, even in deciding a project for a camera or a camera for a project, like maybe next time I'll, I'll know better not to use like a camera that can't take low light properly and to shoot something like this or um, have different lights for certain for certain scenes and um, I think uh, yeah just keep making stuff to, uh, have fun I think that that was the biggest the biggest thing about like lately I just I just want to have as much fun as I can doing this because you can get in like these holes of of being a, an artist or whatever and you just kind of get lost but it doesn't matter honestly we just kind of do do a fun fun thing for a living so yeah Thank you so much, Jason.